Well, we can't cool it down. We can't risk giving him his abilities back. No. Can we wrap? No, I don't know. I don't know if you want to wrap him in a blanket, wrap a blanket around him. But that might give him a shadow. I don't know. We need to be cautious. It's the heat, though, that's slowing him down. It's not... Oh, no, you turned off all the light, too. Never mind. Okay. There's no shadows. It's all light. I don't think he's strong enough to teleport or do anything at this point. Yeah, so we, we don't want to help him get his strength back. It's right. kind of counterproductive to what we're trying to do. So how are you guys going to restrain him? Or how are you guys going to contain him? We have rope. We would have rope. We have rope. I feel horrible I tying him up. Victor, what do you think? I don't know. Because you guys can't put him in anything. Because Rachel was able to teleport. Oh, it's like you'd have to keep him in a heated area at all times. <laughs> Correct? Is that not what we're thinking? I'm thinking he is tra we keep him trapped in this room until we can deal with him. Until he turns into a human. So according or to the posting of this uh, heater, they go through 1.1 liter of diesel per hour. Or sorry, 1.1 gallon. Okay. Uh, just, just for you to be aware of how long you can keep these things running. Uh, what's its tank size? Does it say? Tank capacity, ten gallon wow. fuel rate. Oh, okay, say so we have give or take nine hours. And yeah, we can always top it up for additional time. Technically, we wouldn't need to. This was just for quick heat. We would just turn the thermostat up in the room to 30, and then you don't even need the diesel heaters. Uh, yes, you do. Because the diesel heaters were so that it wasn't electronics. And also, it shuts off when it hits the temperature. Yeah. So there, there's technically, other, it would be you, lasting longer. My guess is you would probably have, like, a day. So we would have to top off the tanks every day. Yeah. Until we get it figured out. Sure. So do we figure that do we figure then that keeping him like drained basically that he's going to revert back like Oh that's what Victor was hoping. I but I don't think he will. Point. Cause the girl that I can't think of her name right now Rachel didn't Rachel? revert Rachel did not convert back until she was able to get someone else to start the conversion. Okay. So okay. her solution was getting Elias like this, and we can't keep that process going. The, okay. the, this sounds horrible, but the only thing I can think of that would definitely end this. Hey, I think you guys know where I'm going. <laughs> no. No, where are you going, Tell us. Where are you going, Charlie? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, well. I don't really think that's our choice to make, though. That's the thing. Well, then whose is it? Well, we got a show to run, so it's the viewers. So we'll just put it to the viewers. <laughs> yeah, put in a vote now. Does he live if or die? All, if it's all we, thumbs down, sorry, then sorry, he's are done. We, are we uploading this to the dark web? Is that what's happening? With his power suppressed, do electronics work now? Um, right now. At the moment, yeah. Yeah, so I'm also going to be getting taking video of the creature with the clearish blue skin. Making sure we have footage that will cut off before we commit murder. Perfect. Of course, you're talking about it openly. We can edit our footage.
like when we talk about m murder, just like mute a footage and have a voiceover, and then we're good. Wait a second. Doesn't Maxine have an ability here she could use? I don't know, don't she? <laughs> what is what is my ability here? This one right here. No, oh, that's mine. Never mind. Do you have an ability we can use? Yes. Just hold on. There's a... Oh, that's asking a suspect. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well. What is going on? Are you talking about like what we're looking at? Well, you, I'm talking about the loud sigh that was just happened. Oh, we're trying to figure out if there's anything that we can do that would could help us, but there's nothing I can do. Because it's like I have a cult confidential but I don't first time in each mystery this you've observed this possibility before not as this guy did it does mm, that count it's the same monster ah poo ah poo um oh stabby stabby what do you have a stabby stabby he has a knife he's, right. him. he's He's hot. He wants to end this. Yeah, like, yeah I, I want mean, to like, get a knife and stabby stabby. I get grumpy when I'm hot. It's like, don't let him get... Don't ever go to the tropics with this guy. Who knows what would happen. He just murders Stabby everybody. stabby! Well... Are you looking to see if you've got something? I got um, a huge sword. I could stabby stabby him. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing for you either. And Frankie, I don't know what they've got. Uh, they have stuff more towards like going off and investigating okay, well, on their own well maybe this is a good place to end it we've got it trapped we're, no we've got it ready. no it's not a good place to end it now is the time we're missing we're missing two now people. is the time to make a decision <laughs> i say we kill him end the cycle here and now you know what we're not responsible for this charlie why don't we get tom in here and he can tell us what he wants us to do that's rude. I, I, I can't. We are responsible for the safety of the party. This creature quite literally threatens their safety. Can we, can we at least try talking to him? Like, do you think that we'll eventually get through to him or no? Why don't you let him decide? Him, that the creature decide who is no longer in his right mind whether we kill it or not. We don't know that though. Like it, the thing is, it's like he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed yet. How do you know that? I thought we were in the nesting stage right now. But he's still changing. How do you know at what point his mind is too far gone? I just, I don't feel comfortable with, it's like he hasn't hurt anybody. I know it's as of yet, and he would probably get to that point, but it's like, there's, there's no be probably about it. He will get to that point. We either end him now, or he kills people in the future. There's no if, ends, or buts.
What would you tell to the family of people in the future he goes to kill if they found out you had the possibility to stop it before it started? I don't know. To me, it's, yeah. Who are we to decide? It's if the would you kill baby possible. Hitler question. Yes. It is literally that question. And we have time. We don't have to make that decision right now. So what's your plan then? What are you going to do we with him? We can keep him contained for a bit. If we can keep him contained and see if there's some way of... Oh. You guys, I think, are researching good. this creature for a week and found nothing. Why do you think you would suddenly find a way that we could magically cure him? Except that's not true. We have found out stuff. Like we figured out, we figured out how to stop, like slow him down to stop him. Not through research, from guessing, from encounters with Rachel as she was trying to kill us. No, Rachel told you how to do it. Yes, and of course, we could also, there's ways that we could, uh, like, put him under, put him in a coma or whatever, and then it, maybe they could study him and cure him that way too, you never know. He has but, altered biology already, and you just think the same medicines that work on people will work on him? We don't know without trying. All I'm saying is... We don't have to don't decide go, right this second. I'll stay with Charlie. We'll keep Elias under control. Why don't you have a conversation with Tom? Maybe Tom has some ideas. He knew we were doing this. He'll be up. Fine. I... Yeah, that's fine. I guess I'll go and look for Tom. Okay. Um, Tom has his own room. So you can just go visit him. Does he, he sleep in room? the conference room? He what? does not sleep in the conference room. It's weird. I figured he. I figured he have a cot somewhere. He has the biggest room in the building. Just sleeps beneath the coffee machine. Yeah, the executive room. Okay. The the Sounds king like suite. Presidential. That's what you're looking for. It okay. looks like all the other rooms, but has a slightly bigger bed. Exactly. Okay. So I just knocked on Tom's door. Yo, you got Tom. What, what do you need? He has an open door. What do you need? Hello? Did my internet cut out again? It sure did. Can you hear me? Alright. Perfect time for my internet to cut out. Can you hear me now? No, we need to decide to murder him tonight. Okay, you can hear me? Yes, can you hear us? I can hear you, but I'm not hearing in them. Wow. There we go. Can you We're hear us? Again. Yes. Talking. Okay. So, okay. yeah, the music just stopped, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so I'll exit out of the music, and this is pretty much where we're going to be calling it, apparently, because you guys can't make a decision. Um, well, yeah, because it's, it's like killing someone. Killing a monster that will, sooner than later, be killing people. Senior Rita, crazy. What, what can I do for Senior you? You got Rita. Tom here. I'm uh, I'm hey. I'm not decent at the moment. Uh, so how can I help you? So am I talking through the door? How am I not yes. seeing you? Okay. You knocked on the door. Okay, and I was talking through the, the door. Okay, I can't talk about this through the door, Tom. You need okay, to. Okay, well, give me door. give me like a minute then. Okay, get your clothes on. I'm doing it. Also, don't tell me what to do. I'm your boss. Okay, we don't have time for this. Anyway, uh, he, you hear some movement inside the room, and then the door opens, and he's in kind of like a 
old t-shirt and some yeah kimono um old t-shirt and some like shorts it's like all right what do you need okay you knew what was happening tonight i don't even know how you could be sleeping i'm not sleeping i was just getting comfortable Okay, so you not it like worked. to unwind it, unwind hey, at the end of the day. Listen, listen, oh, listen, hey. stop talking. Yeah, go. Let's stop do it. Stop talking, Tom. Yeah, great. Let's okay. go. Okay. It worked. Elias is in Charlie's room right now, but he wants us to kill him. So uh, I. Elias wants you to kill him? No, 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 no. Charlie's room. Charlie wants us to kill him. And it's like, I just don't, I feel like we just need some time to figure out what we're doing. Do you guys He's like, worried that. Have, did they bring handcuffs or something? We've got him restrained, I believe. That's not what I asked. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if handcuffs would work or not. Can he freeze handcuffs? Right now he's shivering because we've got the heat on we've got the lights on the equipment that you got worked but it's i just i don't know what you want us to do and it's like this is a big decision well charlie is of the of the mind that he's only going to end up changing and and becoming what rachel is and kill people like Rachel did but it's like there's got to be something else which I just I don't know we're just trying to figure stuff out Victor's on the same page as me but it's like I don't know I mean your goal was just to find the monster and learn about the monster killing Correct. it is I mean if you guys think that's the best idea then I mean do it not on camera not on camera really thanks but thanks Tom I mean, but the thing is, it's yeah. Do you it's feel like it's I dangerous? Didn't sign up. Not at this point, I don't. But it's like I just don't want to be. Do this you is feel, your show. Yeah, and obviously you're not going to do it on my show now, are you? Fine, I get that, but it's like I feel like I'm saying Charlie... your job is done. What happens with the monster? And keep in mind, it is a monster. Yeah, I get that. After, and I understand what Charlie's saying, too. I'll I'll pose a question to you. If there was a bear that was killing every hunter that came across its path, would you feel that that bear was the one that needed to be put down? Okay. That's a different scenario. It's not altogether. a different scenario. Just answer the question. Yes, I realize that Charlie. Answer sorry, the question. Charlie. I realize. No, I'm not answering the question because Elias was is. I feel like he could still be helped. He's How? not changed over completely. How? And it, I, you guys are crazy. No, and I, I'm asking honest a question. How? I don't know yet. It's like, the thing is, we have him contained right now. And how long is that going like, to last? I, I don't know. Okay, if there I seem feel, to be a lot of I don't knows. That's correct. I don't know. We've never dealt with anything like this before. I haven't. I don't know if you guys have. Nope. First time having a real monster, to be honest. Well, this is beyond anything I've seen before. I have a question for you. Go ahead. If we were having to deal with a monster that was just a monster and not previously human, would we be having the same conversation? Okay. No, Admittedly, I... Probably not. Probably not. Exactly. But at the same time, too, it's like, it still was a person. We, we talked to this person. We were helping this person before. And it's like, I and realize the, cap it, the capabilities. If you came across he a werewolf, completely let's say we were dealing with a werewolf. Um, would sure. you would you be against killing the werewolf? Was the werewolf completely changed into a werewolf? Or the is he werewolf just changing changes, into The werewolf, werewolf changes into a werewolf uh, once in an, every full moon. It's not a constant thing, only on the full moon, and he goes around and kills people every full moon. 
would you be killing that person or would you be letting them survive? I believe from things that I've read that if you chain that thing up on a full moon so that he can't get out and kill people it's yeah there's different things that you can do it's like we haven't we haven't Okay, so if you can everything. find a way to chain this guy up so he never moves again, then sure, you can keep him alive. So you're you're on the same page as Charlie. I'm in the on the page of like as soon as the footage goes live of this being an actual monster, the show is done and you can do whatever you want with him afterwards. If you feel he's dangerous, maybe the best idea is to put him down. If you feel there's a way to lock him up for the rest of his life, then do that. I don't care. The show is over. Well, thanks, Tom, for this pep talk. You're welcome. Can I go back to my shows? Oh. Unbelievable. And I turn around and I walk away, stomp away. How about that? It was great talking to you, too. And he closes the door. Yep. I love Tom. He's so okay. great. Yeah, he's fantastic. <laughs> okay. So I go back upstairs. Oh no, down the hall or wherever. Down the I hall. don't know where the there executive is no upstairs. Where, the, where the presidential suite is. Okay. I'm taking a deep breath before I go back into the room. Okay. Okay. So I open the door. See these two lunatics and Elias. Elias still shivering in the corner. Terrified look on his face. Almost like a baby animal who's been wounded. <laughs> like a baby deer. A yeah. doe idea. Like a deer. A fawn, if you will. Yeah. So do you still insist that we don't do anything? I talked to Tom. He says we've come to the conclusion of our show. But he said basically that we can decide what we want to do. I got a better idea. Why don't we call the sheriff and let him decide? It's his town. These are his people. If he thinks that it needs to be put out of its misery then he can do it. Uh, out of game, or, or uh, does, is the sheriff aware of what's going on and it being encrypted? Yeah, because yes. I've been keeping him. Yeah. Hey, have, okay. you not, have you not been part of any of the sheriff episodes? He's been out for a few episodes. No, no, yeah, I, I, there's I, been a few episodes with the sheriff. I'm just wondering if he's been a part, none of those. I, one of, I think there might have been one where the sheriff was involved talking, but it was just a small conversation. Okay. I think I just managed to miss that entire, like, arc. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, the sheriff is, like, your ally. Yeah, plus he knew, plus he knew about, like, previous. Yeah, so I think that's the way that we keep our hands clean. It. If he wants us to do it, then we do it, but it's under his guidance. There is a knock at your door. Oh, no. Who is it? Evelyn. What is all this heat? <laughs> what is, what is, um, what? I'm sorry to bother you at this hour, um, but we've got a couple of noise complaints. Um, I'm just wondering if there's... what? What's all that noise coming? Why is it so bright? We'll, we'll keep it down. There's a lot of, like, fan noise. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie was feeling a little chilled. Okay. Well, um, uh, I will let you know it, it was your friend who complained. Um, of course. Uh -uh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> we'll we'll get uh, we'll we'll deal with uh, it. It's, yeah, it's we'll deal again. with it right away. Why does the door feel so warm? What? 
Like is, I said, Charlie's is feeling a little Is it alright if I take a look around the room? No, no, no. It's <laughs> Charlie right now. Charlie's All three not of you? 100%. Yes. What did he say? It's not decent right now. Okay. Charlie's feeling a little um, under the weather. We're trying to we're trying to steam out his. What is it? What? Is, what where do you crank the heat? To? Oh my goodness, you guys! Digging a hole. Uh, Kate, we'll keep it down, I guess. Um. Oh, we will for sure. Sorry to bother you, Evelyn. This is. You're making excuses. I just made Evelyn think we're freaks. Yeah. I nice. have fun. And you hear footsteps walking away. Okay, so I call the sheriff. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. That's an answer. This, this decision is on us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me voicemail. Sheriff Bennett, how can I help you? Hey, Sheriff. Uh, so you remember I told you I'd keep you in the loop about uh, catching Elias? Yeah. Uh, well, I got him. We got him trapped at the lodge. Oh, okay. Um, what What do you want? What do you want me to do? Uh, <laughs> we need to know what you want us to do. Is he on uh, speaker? Sure. Here, just one sec. <laughs> I put him on speakerphone. I got Charlie and Maxine here. Uh, and Elias hello? is... <laughs> Alright. Um, what... What exactly... I don't understand what you need from me at this point. Well, they... We, I we believe can't. that we need to kill him. Because he is a monster and is going to turn and take a lot of lives. But these two refuse to do it without your permission. No, it's not a refuse to. I'm not... I'm do not you know you. of just... any way that he can not be a monster? No, and our way of holding him captive will only last so long. So, basically, is there anything... we're not even going to try... Is Nothing there... to try. You don't want to try anything. Okay, calm down. Maybe Maxine can leave the one room while we converse. You know what? converse. If, if one more man tells me to calm down, things are not going to I am asking if we have down. options. That's it. So... As far as we currently know, there is nothing we can do. As of right this second... I said as far as we currently okay. know, Maxine. Yes. How long do you need? That, Charlie. Because we were just informed, as in myself, that we don't know how long this is going to last. So how long do you need? Because if this isn't going to last, I don't know, more than a day. Well, considering then... we need to keep this room warm, I'm not even sure we can make it last a day without general public getting the involved yeah we, we already have, have hours we, we might not even evelyn have just an stopped hour by. that's right evelyn just stopped by and, and we got complaints about the noise and the heaters do you think there's a way of moving him no we need him contained in massive heat and there's no way for us to relocate this heat all right so maxine you tell me what you think should be done oh my lord Okay. No, you. We can't move him. We can't keep him in there. We can't. Like, do you want an hour to try and figure out a way to cure him? Do you feel like you have an hour's worth of research that can be done? Because, like I said, you can't keep him. You can't move him. I'd be fine you bringing him here, and we can keep him in a holding cell, or in the morgue. But you can't move him here. How is it possible actually, that we can't move him there? Actually, if we can keep we Evelyn off our... We can to get from here to there without having any issue. We can move we him in the morning. Van. 
the, it's like, still winter outside. We still need the hey, power. We still daytime. need to be running generators. They hey. still can function in daytime. They're just not like out in public. It's not warm enough for them to, him to be like this. You, you realize this is winter, and in daytime, no, it is still far below freezing out there. Doesn't have the shadows, but he doesn't need the shadows. The shadows help him, but he does not require them. Didn't Rachel say she did, had no power during the day? Mm. She said she didn't come out during the day because she couldn't teleport around. She didn't operate during the daytime. Yeah, so they're they're less powerful in the daytime, but they're still powerful. So just waiting till daytime is not a solution. You need to accept that Elias is no longer human. Hello. Banking. Oh, okay. Dead air is what I was hearing. Oh, boohoo for you. Do you want oh, to we're hear? trying to host a show here, so it's not boohoo for him. Do you want me to? If is you try, better? if you tried doing something, nothing came through. So no, it was not better. <laughs> Think faster. <laughs> Should we play the That's Jeopardy it. song? Dude. dude, dude. Okay, Yoda. Because my thought is of somehow trying to get him into a warm van and transport him over to the jail. Without I don't being want able to, to be... move our lights and heat source. Well, I mean. You have enough. It's like. You it's have not three darkness. diesel heaters. Yes, how are you going to get the van into a building where there's no heat lock? Because you cannot just put this heater outside. You cannot get the van into the building. You need to walk outside to get from point A to point B where he will be able to cool down. Plus, there's the matter of needing to essentially heat the entire hotel with a certain person in this hotel that we don't want to know about this. We don't need to heat each room. So, first you're saying wait till daytime where they have okay, less powerful, on. where she she will be awake. Now you're saying we don't heat each room, which means we There's do no it at nighttime, which means we need to... Out. And no matter what, we need okay. to heat the outside, which is impossible. It's not worth the risk. If we lose this chance, we lose him. He goes out, he kills, and that is 100% on you. Okay, let Maxine talk for a second. Okay. So, our thought, or your thought, is that the second that it isn't 30 degrees, is that he turns, he can teleport instantly? He can make the area colder. He can teleport in the dark. So if we lose the heat, it gets cold. If he finds shadows, he teleports. The moment we lose him, we're done. People die. It is likely that he will not fall for this again. What what Charlie is saying is Oh correct. no, I don't I understand that part. I understand he's not going to come here because we've already captured him one time. I get that. We cannot risk innocent people's lives because you could think you might be able to save a monster. Well, we're monster hunters, not monster savers. I mean, not 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 true. You know what? If you guys 
don't have an issue with it. It's like, I want nothing to do with it. It's like, you guys want to go in? I don't know. I, yeah. And how are you going to do it without everybody hearing? Or, see, it's like, yeah. You got to get rid of a body. You got, it's like, we got Snoopy, Miss Snoopy downstairs. She, or down the hall or wherever she, she is. She just showed up and you're automatically calling her Miss Snoopy. You don't even know. What yeah, say I about she that came here. Is it is easier here. to quietly kill someone and get rid of a body than you might think. Especially when that you have a sheriff backing you that up. That is frightening. Yeah, Who's in exactly. the army? Yeah, that's great. It's like... Yeah, if you guys feel that that's the only way, I just, I wish that we could give it some thought, but every everything I try to think of, you guys just push down, so. If that's what you feel, I guess, Charlie, you can decide. You can have the ultimate decision, Charlie. How about that? You already you know can, what my decision is. If you can kill this little doe-eyed deer in the corner. <laughs> this poor defenseless man. Then, sure. And yes, I realize that he is probably capable of many, many worse things. I just, yeah. It makes me sad, because it's like... So, so I, I, honestly, like, I have no problem with doing this. I just didn't want to be the one making the decision. So it's sad it what happened to him, but he is no longer a poor defenseless man. Well, I already said, if you guys want to do whatever, go nuts. You can do what you want, but it's not on me. Even though you're trying to put it all on me. No, this can be on me. All right, so how are we going to deal with the aftermath there, uh, Sheriff? Oh, is he still on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> I was not aware he was on the phone, but okay. Oh, did he come over? Did he hang up? Did he... No, I just... Did the Sheriff hang up? Because apparently we never hung up. You guys were just arguing, and I assumed that that was not in front of the Sheriff. We put us on silent. <laughs> Sorry, what did you ask the sheriff? What did you ask the sheriff? Oh, how you're going to deal with the... <laughs> the aftermath. Um, I mean, if you can get the body down to the door, I can take care of it for you. Why no you, one's walking the laughing? halls three in the morning. Yeah. Except for Evelyn two seconds ago. Except for Evelyn and. Okay. What? But. And the daughter's yes, no. awake, is she not? I mean, you guys woke her up, so yeah. Well, we didn't wake her up. Uh, you specifically did. Evelyn? You! No, I woke Evelyn up? No, you woke the doctor up. I thought it was because of the fans that oh, she woke up. Well, she can hear those now, but you basically had a loud yeah. conversation right next I to her room. I thought it was. And then stomped away. You specified well, I apologize. that you stomped away. I apologize. Yeah, I did stomp away. <laughs> there are consequences to actions you take. Alright, whatever. You're the one that forced our hand. <laughs> oh, please. So it does come this back to be Maxine's now. fault. Yeah. <laughs> all on Maxine. Poor Maxine.
Okay, so I I hear some dead air now. Yeah, what's going on? So I will take a pill though, and I will take a knife, and I'll go up to the monster in the corner. Hey, hold on, hold on. I would like to leave the room. It's like before I see you pulling this stuff out. It's like whoa, 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 whoa. I would just like to be take. Yeah, I would like to go out before you do that. I also go to the bathroom and I grab the uh, shower curtain. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I, I don't want blood everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm Elias to... backs into the corner as much as uh, he possibly can. I kind of surround the area with the shower curtain. I put the pillow over his head and I slit his throat. I don't know what you were doing. I'd guard the door. Alright, so do you need me to come and help you guys now? That right. would be great. He's still on the phone. Alright, I'll be there soon. Lights will be off, so you guys need to just see me coming and get to the door. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming Elias is dead. There is no movement left in his body. Okay. And then, uh... Just to be that... safe, I'm going to, uh, discreetly decapitate him. Okay. Discreetly. I, I don't want it to be like, he's unconscious and he comes back. So. <laughs> I... Okay. Yeah, and now and now we turn after that. Now we can turn the heaters off and all. Yeah, attention. we turn the heaters off. We turn the lights off. Wrap the body in the uh, shower curtain. <laughs> okay, we we need and, to make sure we and, don't get spotted on the way out. And one of uh, of uh, Charlie's giant duffel bags that he has his stuff. We'll put the body inside that. I just conveniently have yeah, body sized duffel bags. Just yeah, well, you know, army guys usually do. <laughs> sure, I, I don't not? know if you've seen the Fallout series yet, but it's what the uh, the uh, squires carry around for the knights. <laughs> yes. That's perfect, yeah. I was thinking just wrap the body in the shower curtain, you go out and make sure nobody sees, and I carry out the body. It's much right. easier to carry in a duffel bag, but, you know. So you take the the bag or shower curtain or whatever you're doing down the hall and out um, quietly as you go um, and you see the sheriff's car um, slowly pull up to the door there's no lights on in the town no nothing it's just the, the lone car pulls up to you Uh, you throw the bag into the back. The sheriff looks at you, nods, and then drives away. And just as you guys are about to go back inside, uh, you see three. It's completely dark, but you see them still. Three black vans lights off as well um as the sheriff is going south out of town you see these black vans are driving in from the east with no driving in from the west yeah uh to west to east and then they turn north on main street as the uh, sheriff is going south. Um, you see three black vans with their lights off, no markings, no nothing. Drive in and drive up. Towards Elias's place. And that's where we're going to call tonight's game.
All right. So, hope everybody enjoyed tonight's episode, even though we had our lovely technical issues again. Uh, gonna try and work on those. We'll see how that goes, though. Uh, so, we got end of ask session stuff. Some end of session stuff. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> One sec. Where is it? Did we conclude the current mystery? Um, yes. Wait, 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 wait. I can, I can do it. Wait one second. Well, your yeah, did we conclude the current mystery? Yes. Yes. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? Yes. Everybody in the future this monster would have killed. Technically, yes. Sure. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Yeah, mm. Charlie's a psycho. No, I think that would that'd be, important be the next. About one that'd of the, the next answer. <laughs> Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yeah. I honestly don't think he was out of whack. Saying... Actually, yeah. is that it? Any those, other questions? Those are the end of the questions. But like, so we... just two experience then? No. Did we learn something new and important about the world, or did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Is that yes or no for both of those? Well, we didn't learn anything about the world. Did we? Mm, no, I don't think so. And the hunters? Do you, do you feel like you learned something new about Charlie, or do you feel like you are... Well, actually, you could do it for, La for Charlie or Maxine, because now you've learned that Maxine's like... She's well, not a hunter. She's like essentially what it comes down to problem. here is Maxine saw Elias as a person. I saw Elias as a monster. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You learn something new about one of the hunters. Okay, so both then, of the hunters. If if that's yes to that as well, then you guys do get to experience. Okay. Good enough. Did anybody level up? Nope. Victor. Victor did. What are you taking? But I'll do that. I'll do that next time. Because I, I don't have all my choices there. You can also do it off camera. Exactly. I'll get her done. It's fun. Anyway. Okay. All right. We're good. Have good a good night, everybody. And we will see you all next week. Bye-bye. See y'all. Bye.